watching another edition of blue splits an exciting edition of blue splits um i'm recording this on saturday october 12th at 10 50 a.m so a little bit of anticipation of the jets getting Devonte adams so if you are watching this um be excited really good player um i have a quick 17 play review of of his uh first three games of the season just to kind of feel what we're getting did he lose a step is he still a, a legit number one guy um so you'll get those you'll get those answers um again obviously uh, i don't know what the trade compensation is i don't know if they traded for him if if this is uh if it doesn't happen between the jets and the and the raiders then this is just never going to be out there but if you're watching this then uh at whatever time it is i'm excited right now um but let's get into the film 17 plays nice little quick review of what Devontae adams is and what he has been at least in this season um okay <clears throat> first play um, and obviously he played in, in, in three games this year, um, you know, and has over, I don't, I don't even, I think, I think he has over like 200 yards in three games or something like that. So he's on pace for another thousand plus yard season. Obviously he's been out the last two games. He's sitting out this week again, um, against the Steelers for the Raiders. Uh, I, I think it's a thing like p people are worrying if they're going to trade for him or not. Um, I personally think he's injured and the Jets aren't going to trade for a guy and take an extra million dollars on the contract this week when he wasn't, but he wouldn't play for the Jets anyway. I think that's what the holdup most likely is. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of the Raiders asking for a price uh, that's a little bit too high, but nonetheless, who cares? Let's get into the film. At this point, if you're watching this, they traded for him. So I'll talk about the compensation down the road. Hopefully also after, uh, hopefully the Jets won against the Bills uh, at, at, at the point you're watching this, but I don't know because I am in the, I am in the past. Um, dig. Okay. So my little nuances to his route running. He's at the bottom right here on um, number 17. Let's watch. And I'll, I'll explain to you why I really like this, um, play from him. And it's just, it's very little things with, with, with route running, um, that can win you a rep or, or lose you a rep. Um, and, and this is one of those plays where it looks so simple that like, oh yeah, the safety was playing off. So he just got an easy catch over the middle. Like, I think that's what, the the um general consensus or like people who are watching on broadcast would probably think but when you really look at the route um when it's when it's good at first obviously he shortens the stride a little bit there's a cloud corner right here who's trying to who's trying to reroute him um and 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 get you know and, and press on him dips the shoulder okay that's not the impressive part the impressive part is adams knowing the coverage and okay he's seeing too high coverage and if he just bends his route out right now immediately to the inside, guess what the safety is going to do? The safety is going to anticipate and he's going to drive down on that route and, and meet him at the catch point. But what Devonta Adams does, and it's so subtle, but it's really good, is he just takes two two steps outside with a little nod. And that gets the DB to 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 um kind of buy that he's going on either you know an out route, a corner route, whatever it may be. But the safety bites on it a little bit and then it opens him up to the middle. Hands catch, we like that, and obviously we see him fight for a little bit of extra yards there. But it's a really, it's a really good play from Devonte just to bend it out outside for two for two steps. It doesn't look like anything crazy, but it gets that DB to hesitate and think he may be running again a corner route, an out route, whatever it may be. And obviously, again, we like the hands catch from from Devonte um, as well, right there. Okay, contested third down from from Devonte. Uh, top of your screen, top, very top of your screen. Let's watch. Okay, he just runs a stop route. Right? And, you know, talking about situations where the Jets have been struggling with contested catches this year, you know, the, the DB does a good job staying on the route, but we're again, we're showing some nuance in route running now. Obviously, a little bit of a push off at the top of the route there from Devontae Adams, diving, shielding the ball. Um, no, yeah, you like ideally you get a hands catch, but it's it's like when it's when it's like near like that belly button range, it is kind of awkward. Like you don't really know whether to 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 overhand or underhand catch that. But I do like the fact that he when he comes back to the ball and he shields the ball from the DB. He knows the DB's outside leverage. Let me put my body in front of the ball, catch the ball, contested, third down, conversion. The Jets wish they had this against against the Broncos and and the Vikings and I don't know again I'm, I'm anticipating the Jets blew the blew out the Bills and all that stuff even though probably you know, I don't know I actually do think the Jets will win but we'll see I could look like an idiot because you guys are watching this after the game <clears throat> but uh <clears throat> third and nine hell of a catch from Devonte okay Devonte seam let's see um he's in the slot right here. To the bottom of your screen. 
again, a lot of, a lot of little nuances to it, to his, to his route running. Um, and you know, uh, again, how much, how much, how much room does your offense give to like flexibility with route running? Because obviously it's delayed, it's a delayed seam route from, from Devante here. Um, but again, the, the nuances of the, of the route running to, you know, get to the, you know, at least at the initial point of, of the break, get to the break point with a reduced stride, slowed stride, explosive movement to the outside with the selling of the eyes gets the DB to, to bite, get past them seam route. Now, um, obviously the ball's not thrown there and that, and that safety drives down. So who, who's to say that the safety doesn't, you know, get over the top of, of Devante, obviously that's possible. Um, but let's say in a world where Devante is one of the better route runners in the NFL and one of the smartest guys in the NFL, um, he might bend this, you know, outside a little bit and Rodgers can potentially connect with him deep. But I, I like the, the nuance of that, of that seam route to get open because if he just takes it straight, you know, the DB is going to be on it, but the selling of that of that like that two steps to the out um really got the db to bite and you could you could see he's playing off balance here right you know he's not he's definitely not balanced there Devonte beats him cleanly up that up that seam ball isn't thrown there so we don't get to see exactly what would have happened but I'll, I'm, I'm gonna take that route i'm gonna take the process of that route all right let's see it's a little notification top right hey your computer's about to die so ooh. That can happen. Um, wind speed out, explosive. Okay. Top of your screen right here. Again, little things you want to watch out for. Is he still explosive? Is he still explosive out of his breaks? He's still a contested catcher, all this stuff. It's still there. Um, you know, maybe maybe he's not a top five guy anymore. Put him in my top 10. You know, I, I can't I can't name 10 guys better than Devontae Adams, even after just watching these three games. I don't give a shit about separation numbers, this, this, that, whatever. He's still a good receiver. He's still a great receiver. Let me let me rephrase that. Um, top of your screen. Okay, you can see some explosion there, right? Like he's he's still and, he, and he's never been he's never been to Sean Jackson or anything like that. But we could see his acceleration right there. Like he he's getting on his horse pretty pretty quickly right there. So, um, and then he wins the speed out. Now again, obviously he's not targeted. I'm not I'm not the type of guy who's just going to watch the targets and the catches and highlight all that stuff. You got you got to watch a lot more than just targets to really know a guy in in my opinion. But we see good acceleration. Um, from from Devante up the uh, um you know on the top of the numbers which gets the DB to what that speed gets him to flip his hips and start to turn to run with Devante because oh shit Devante's moving at me pretty quickly right here he runs a speed out no stop steps break drive line beats that DB now let's say that's Rogers and he's and he's staring no I'm staring but he's looking at Devante you know puts that ball outside shoulder leads into the sideline that's a catch for an easy first down on second and ten why because the acceleration and the speed is still there from Devonte, he got he got the DB to to bite vertical. No, again, no, it's not. It's not. It, he didn't he didn't kill this guy. That's that's NFL open. He got open. Why? Speed acceleration. Okay. Devonte Adams vertical. Um, okay. We're looking uh the very top for Devonte. DB with inside leverage. Double move. And uh again, another situation where if you're just watching the targets, you're just watching the catches, you're not going to see this. But um he does a good job. Let's see what his release is. Hop step release. Right foot to right foot. I don't think his left foot ever lands. If it if it does, then it's just a short two step, which is fine either way. It doesn't really matter. He gets on the DB's toes, breaks to the outside. DB is in a in a good spot to play it vertical. Devontae, just two stop steps, a little bit of a peek inside. Gets the DB too. Oh crap! He's bra- he's you know it's a, it's a curl, it's a slant, whatever it may be. Nope. Devontae beats him vertically. Again, this is NFL open. That's a ball where, especially with Rodgers and his rod, and if Rodgers is staring at him, um, this is a ball that he is throwing vertically, and Devontae is probably going to catch it for a touchdown. You know, like that's that's a good it's a good it's a good play, man. Just that little stutter step. And I don't even know if it's supposed to be a double move or if he just realizes at first, like, oh, I didn't really get him. He's going to be over top of this. Let me just throw a quick two-step stutter to get him the bite. And, and he's open, man. Like, it's just, he's still a really, really good route runner. His route running is very, very impressive. And uh, and Garrett can learn a lot from him in terms of a, as a route runner. Uh, Devonta Adams dig route pacing. Okay. You see the top of your screen right here? Top of your, very top of your screen. 
his 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 pacing so good as well um at times where he plays with his pacing a lot if you if you if you watch off the snap he he's accelerating like fast and then he comes up slow and then there's a couple of bursts at the top there as well and it, and it's just really screwing with the db to to not really allow them to ever feel comfortable because once you you know when he comes up when he comes off the ball like this and he's coming at you fast and it's like okay you know it's a vertical route then he slows up and you're like oh, all right well now now it's probably going to be an out and in a stop you know something something intermediate but then at the top right here he bursts again at him with that with that one that one hard step vertical um and it gets the db again to to kind of bite vertically and just sit on it Devante breaks to the inside and it's wide open on the dig wide open again route pacing fast slow explosive at him just like those last those last like two steps right there you see how he accelerates a little bit at the end right there it's hard to see in in slow frames but he's slow right here and he accelerates right there again try to try to try to pick it up fast slow fast break love the route pacing big catch for a dig over the middle again offers offers some decent yak he's a solid yak player i'm not gonna say he's you know, he's not Debo Samuel, but he'll he'll definitely fight for extra yards. Undoubtedly. Uh Devontae went out. Top of your screen. Very top of your screen. Okay, quick little speed out. Again, we see some good acceleration off the line. He gets on that DB's toes pretty quickly. So not really playing too much at the line of scrimmage right there. There's no need to. You're talking about secondary release right here. Um, I, I I've always kind of thought that Marlon Humphrey is a little bit overrated as a, as a DB, um, but nonetheless, this is a pretty simple, pretty simple route. Um, Devante stems him to the to the outside. Um, he doesn't want to. He, and and I hate watching these like Instagram videos or TikToks or whatever where people are like, oh, this is exactly how you win an out route versus versus outside leverage. Let me tell you, if that's the label of what you're watching, it's bullshit because there's no one way to win every single route. There's not. You have to adjust on the fly. Um, you know, but for Devante here, he doesn't necessarily want to just stem him completely inside and then try to win on the out because he's going to be outside leverage. So he's stemming towards his break point in hopes that he could have a clean break to the outside and, and home free will, will play a little bit over the top if he were to accelerate quickly, which works. So he accelerates quickly, which gets, which gets again, um, home free to, to get, um, to, to, to create some distance vertically. Devante breaks on the out again, shortens his stride a little bit before the, before the break, break, drive. Way to get over that drive step too. Line. I'm talking about three yards of separation right there on an out route. Boom, catch. Easy nine yards on first down on an out route. Okay. Sideline catch, trust throw. Oh yeah, this is this is a good one. Uh, top of your screen right here against the Ravens. Okay, I cut that a little poorly. My fault. Let me let me go from here. Okay, here we go. Top of the screen. Okay, this one, I, 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 you know, like a little bit of lack of effort here. You know, he's not, he's, I, I don't think he thinks he's gonna get targeted or anything like that. You have a DB who's playing off for a vertical route. He doesn't think he's gonna get targeted. He loafs it a little bit, which is, is, is what it is. Again, he doesn't think he's gonna get targeted. Again, I don't know why those views have been so bad with, with the NFL.com, but um, nice sideline catch from, from, from Devante getting his toes in bounds, something that our guys have struggled with mightily this year. Um, you know, toe tapping, cradling the ball, awesome job. And and again, really, like there's nothing about the route initially. He 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 just he loafs it a little bit again. Nothing is gonna be open. He eventually looks back for the ball, sees Gardner Minshew scrambling towards him, gets his hands on the DB to create some separation at the at the catch point, puts his hand up. Okay, just throw it up to me, trust me. Again, hands on, hand up, throw it to me, I'll make a play. Push off at the perfect time. Toe tap, inbounds, bang. He's one of those guys like Michael. No, he's not like Mike Williams, but you know, you you have two guys like this now who is like, hey, you know, you're in a you're in a, you're in a shitty situation as a quarterback. Just throw the ball up to him. You know, throw the ball up to Mike Williams. Even Garrett, you know, Garrett has to improve undoubtedly on his contested catches. I would say that's you know, Garrett Wilson's his his major two weaknesses are releases, um, releases contested catches, and I would just and I would say at third is is winning vertically. Those are his biggest problems right now. Um, and I was like one of those guys, by the way, if you watch a Garrett Wilson review at college, I said, I don't trust his releases. Sometimes it looks really good. Sometimes it does not. Adam's deep ball, top of your screen. Okay. 
get another situation where it's like, hey, he's not even necessarily open right here, but he just makes plays on the ball. Like he's a great route runner, a good contested catcher, solid, solid yak guy, really smart route runner, really good with pacing. Like there's there's so much good to his game. Um off the off the jump right here. Um one quick two step. Nah, it's not like a two step. It's like a get even, get even release. Doesn't really eat up a lot of ground. Okay, release doesn't work. Bends it to the outside. We can see a little bit of the hand fighting. The arm come up right there to wipe it away. Eyes back to the quarterback. Continue vertical. There's continuous hand fighting. Continuous hand fighting. And the thing that I like that he does here is like a lot, a lot of guys. And and you can see like obviously he's on his horse right now. But once he sees that the ball is coming and it's going to be a little bit shallow, you see what he does. Like he doesn't he doesn't keep accelerating and then and then like try to come back to the ball. Um, what he does here, and again, it's just it's just so little, it's just so, such a little nuances that makes him so good, is is he slows down, he slows down, um, and then lets the ball come to him. You know, like it, it, it seems like it's small, but like in the moment, right that like that when you're squeezed to the sideline and you're running up the sideline with the DB on you, the fact that he he slows down, why? Because the DB is on his back, and if the DB keeps pushing him, it's pass interference. And if he slows down, then guess what? I have the advantage of the catch point. Little things, little things that Devontae does that makes him a top 10 receiver and one of the better receivers of the last 10 years. And hand fighting, box him out a little bit, slow slow down your route. Um, you know, obviously catch it and guess what? Get the toes and bounds. One, two. Really good rep. Again, even though he didn't win the route necessarily in terms of creating tons of separation, still hell of a contested catch there. We like that. Adams wins slant, drop. Okay, bottom of your screen. Had a few drops um, in the first couple of games. Again, maybe a little bit of lack of focus or whatever it may be. be but, uh, you know, again, you, typically he's going to catch the ball, but he roasts Marlon Humphrey. Look how far Marlon Humphrey is. He's in man coverage on him. Look how bad he beat him. Talking about eight yards of separation. Like, holy crap. He roasts him. Comes off the ball. He he loves like these, these like skip hop step releases. Hop step. One, two, three. Yep. Squirt release. Hop step into a squirt release. Hop, squirt. And slow down. So what he's doing is he's just lulling Humphrey to sleep or whoever it is. I think it's Humphrey. I could be wrong. Lulling the DB to sleep. Quick burst three steps to the outside. Oh, crap. He's he's trying to get outside of me. Goes to flip his, flip his hips, the DB. Nope, break inside. Roast him. Yeah, Humphrey. Roast him. Drop, unfortunate, but the route is... Chef's kiss. That is a great route. It's all about pacing, man. Pacing, control of your feet, committing to stop steps. It's there's um watching a really good receiver is fun. It's I, I love it. I love watching really good corners and receivers. It's my favorite, I would say. Um Adam's fake block and tested TD. Okay. So he comes off the ball right here. He uh he acts like he's blocking the, the DB and then just takes off vertically. Humphrey again, I believe. Yeah. Humphrey's getting his ass kicked this game by him. Then come off the ball, a little bit of lackadaisical block. You know, again, lull him to sleep. Pull himself through, almost like a defensive end to an offensive tackle. Gardner Mitchell just trusts him, throws up the ball. Guess what Devontae does? Comes back to or attacks the ball, extends towards the ball. Hands catch, pull it away. Hands catch, pull it away from the DB so he can't get his arm in there. You can fake that block, pull yourself by. Pull yourself by. Come back to the ball. Not an easy catch to make. Watch one more time. All right. Adams went out. Went on and out, I guess. Um, very top of your screen, Devonta. Oh, now in the slot. Cooks him on the out again. Ball, the ball is not. He's not targeted there. But um, we're gonna take this route all the time, right? Rogers is gonna hit that if he's looking at him. You know, Roquan's underneath, but still, um, that's that's a win. Now, why is it a win? Let's see. Then slow to pace off the off the off the snap, which is okay. Hop step, hops up in an inside foot. Just and again, like you don't always have to get all the DBs 
post super quickly if he's close like this you could you could eat up you could eat up some ground but also but at a slower pace just to read what the db's gonna do is he is he soft showing me is he aggressive pressing is he gonna shuffle to the inside outside like you could you could gather information but it's it, there's nuance hop step short stride to the inside short stride to to, to get uh to the inside leverage hoping the db shuffles or or opens his gate to the inside which he does just a slight open of the hips to the inside Devante short strides and make sure to not get too much on his toes where he's, it, where he's not going to be able to defeat the press. Hands are ready for the, for the hands. Wipes them away. Wins on the out. Okay? So, again, hop step, gathering information. Short strides him to the inside shoulder and hopes that, again, he either shuffles or opens the hip to the inside. He opens the hips to the inside. Nice and ready for the hands. Swipes them away. Wins on the out. Completion, if, if he's looking there. Five plays left. Uh, top of your screen, contested stop. Okay. Very top. And I cut that like crap again. All right, here we go. Again, some good acceleration off the top. Again, he's not Deshaun Jackson or anything like that. It never has been. But it's another situation where um comes off the ball. Yeah, I, and I think I even Devontae, I think he can commit to some stop steps a little bit more. There's there's one, two. Like you see how he, he, he like he's not fully committed to that second stop step. One stop, two. You see, already leading out of it. We want, we want that, we want that, we want that second step more committed. But again, I'm being nitpicky. But it's there again. You're talking about perfect routes. This is not necessarily perfect. Now he is facing some like off coverage, so I don't think he thinks he has to run it as hard, like you know, as perfect. But one stop, two stop, three stop, pivot, even the third stop. Okay, so fully committed to the first one, right? Knees over his toes, or uh, yeah. First, second, not so committed. Third, not so committed. Pivot step break. So not the best break in the world from Devontae, but still create separation. Ball is there. Extend towards it. Pull it down. Contested catch situation. There's guys who, you know, drop that just because of that hand in there. They, they may drop that lack of focus, whatever it may be, and fights for some extra yards. But you see how he comes back to the ball, body contortion. Not the easiest catch in the world, right? It's not. It's off target. You want you want you want to put that on him more. Tack that ball, sn snag it, fight for some extra yards. Good play. Four left. Adams, good route, drop. Okay. Outside slot right here, number two. Again, pacing, man. You see he skips mid route, like that secondary skip. Comes off the ball, slows down, acceleration. That's, the, that's another thing. That's another route where it's fast off the jump, delayed. Skip, skip mid route, re acceleration. Oh shit! You see the you see what it does to the DB. They watch the DB. Okay, he's coming towards me. He's slowing down. I'm gonna sit on a little bit. See, so he starts to sit. Re acceleration. Oh shit! You see that? Oh shit! Step right there, right there. Oh my god, he's gonna beat me deep. Break back to the ball. Good route. Good separation. Drops it. Eh, it's not even that bad of a drop, actually. You know, I don't think he catches it so cleanly. I don't think he catches it as cleanly as he wants to. He kind of he kind of bobbles it right there. Like he goes to readjust it, and then the DB gets his hand in there, punches it out. So good play by the DB. He doesn't catch it so cleanly, but really good route again. Fast, slow, fast, sit. Awesome, awesome route pacing with that with that skip mid route. Adams drop. Okay. Bottom slot. Okay, you know, it, well, again, I don't got to show up some of the bad plays. He had he had a few more uncharacteristic drops this year, but um, this this linebacker got his hand in there as well. So quick stop, really. Again, nothing to really talk about too much right there. Um, you know, sits it down. I'm not going to even talk about like the stop steps and stuff because it, he's he's wide open, so it's not that big of a deal. He just gets to a spot. Catch the problem here is he catches the ball. I think he bobbles it one because he catches it and he sees that linebacker. And I don't think he looks in all the way. He's looking at the linebacker. So then he has to, he has to, he bobbles the ball again. He's going to readjust it. Linebacker gets his hand in there a little bit, just on the shoulder. And he, and he, and he drops it. So a little bit better focus there. Obviously, look the ball in. Okay. A few drops. Um, Adams stop two point conversion. Little nuances to his route running. Bottom of your screen. Again, some, some really pretty things that, 
that just seem so subtle, but that are so good. So he just went, he's running a stop right here or like a hitch in the, in the red zone. And typically guys are just going to run vertical stop, right? Like it's just so simple, but guys are going to cover that, you know, obviously pretty easily. Devante gets to his break point, And instead of just stopping quick nod to the outside, this quick little nod to the outside gets the DB to what? Oh shit. He's running an out route, gets over his toes. Guess who's open right now? Now let's say Minshew was staring at him, puts that ball inside shoulder. It's a touchdown. Or sorry, a two-point conversion. Like the little nuances, again, get to your point. Don't just break there because he's going to sit on it. Nod to the outside. Get him to buy that out route. Sit down. He's open. Now, um, you know, you like to see a little bit more. Again, and maybe it's some of the effort thing. Like maybe, you know, if Pierce saw like, okay, he's not really trying to get open after that point. But I think Devontae's like, hey, I'll box this guy out. I'll just catch it right in front of his face. But nonetheless, one play left. Let's go, Jets got Devontae, right? So pumped. It's a little bit hard. It's, I'm hoping this is all for naught, but I'm talking about a couple of hours of my time to get this all done. Not, not the biggest deal in the world. Top of your screen, Devontae's out. And then this is this is simple. There's just kind of like what he's dealing with with Minshew and why he's probably getting pissed off. But he's running an out route versus off coverage. He gets open. And you have Minshew who puts the ball way too far to the inside. Now, if there's a miscommunication, you're supposed to sit it down right there. Or, you know, maybe, but... Devontae's like, what the hell, dude? Wide open on a speed out. Acceleration. Not, not the best acceleration in the world right there, but acceleration. Break on the out. Ball's way behind him. Pick. He ends up making a tackle right there. So quick little Devontae uh, uh, review. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm pumped up that we got him whenever this may be released Monday, Tuesday, but I do think it's going to happen, and that's why I did this. Um, I'm anticipating it happening again Monday, or not Monday, sorry, um, Tuesday or Wednesday. Well, probably Tuesday, right? Because the Jets play Sunday night, so you want them to get them in there. So I'm going to anticipate this happens Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. This is this will be out there. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you next time.